What's going on, everybody? Ed Clay. It is Tuesday morning, <clears throat> and uh, I am tired. Man, I stayed up uh, late last night working, and um, I got a few hours sleep. I was tired as hell. I was just forcing myself to keep writing, and uh, I plan on going a bit early, and it didn't happen. Anyways, so I'm on my way. Got to go to the bank, make a deposit. Uh, we leave for UFC 118 in Boston here, and uh, we're gonna meet in like an hour and 15 minutes. So uh, it's gonna be a busy day. I'm gonna get a little workout in with John this afternoon in Boston, and uh, that's about it. So follow us along all week long. Gonna be a big week, and uh, check out what we so got. I just went. To My buddy's at Clay. We are driving the airport. It's 11:30. Flight leaves at 12:35, so we're a little, little late. It happens. But John Salter, John, how you doing, buddy? Doing good. Doing good. John's fighting. Saturday night in UFC 118 versus Dan Miller. So it's going to be a good fight. John's been training hard. Anything to say? He's ready to push the pace and surprise everybody and beat Dan Miller. Looks like that. To the uh, gate. You can tell John's a fighter. He's got his UFC bag. He's got his gloves hanging out. Friggin' Miller. Put the bag. What's that? They smell too bad to put them clothes. He's a damn soldier getting ready for war. We're walking at the airport in Nashville. Every time I go by, this little King Jeweler sign. Got Brylings, Cartier, Chanel. I'm not a big tag fan. Tag's cheap. <laughs> but, uh, man, I want to go to that jewelry store. I was there last week. Got some nice watches. It's, it's like the only only decent watch shop in Nashville. But um, anyways, every time I come to the airport, I see that sign. It makes me want to go buy a new watch. So we just got done with John's paperwork. I had to, he had to sign his life away. Barnheiser had to sign his life away. I wouldn't sign. And John's doing an interview. You know, he hasn't had the best of luck lately, but you know, if you, don't, if you make one wrong move, he'll get you a submission real quick. How careful you have to come around him? Uh, I think you got to be careful, but at the same time, you can't be too careful. You got to go out there and fight and uh, push the pace all the time. If you uh, end up trying to worry about not getting submitted all the time, you're not going to do anything. You're just going to lay around. So, uh, you know, I got to worry about it, but not too much. John did his interview and then had to sign about 500 posters. And um, now we're going to the room. Barn and I have been here all day in the room alone. so. He's very happy to see us. <laughs> Barnheiser doesn't do very well alone. <laughs> he called me and texted me like 14,000 times. I get today. bored easily. Thanks. It's weird when he says things like, I miss you. <laughs> I'm scared. And I'm tired yeah. of being in this room alone and all these uh, weird <laughs> Getting things. Getting nervous. Yes. So I'm glad we're finally with Barnheiser and he's not having a breakdown in the room. Draw the bag up. We got to the room for the first time that Chris has been at alone all day, and this here, <laughs> that's the bed that we get to share. And I'm really excited because Chris, not only does he get lonely when we're not here, he is a good cuddler. <laughs> so Mackenzie, uh, who's Chris's girlfriend? Mackenzie, if you're watching, don't get jealous. Don't. <laughs> this jerk here just got one key. <clears throat> Actually, he got himself a key and John a key. He was not thinking about me at all. I see how it is. So I had to fight to even get up here. You did. Tell, tell me how you got up here. Uh, well, I just talked to him for a while. I laid out, laid on the charm, and uh, ladies love me. So. And if you look closely, she gave me a key to her house too. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> McKenzie's gonna be mad. <laughs> If you look closely at Chris's face, you will notice two black eyes. There's one black eye, and there's two black eyes. Yeah. Not that we can see, because he's got a 
We just got him eating. It was amazing. And John and Bornheiser are both talking to girlfriends. Yeah. I don't have anybody to talk to. So, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, they have... We're going to go work out here. We're going to go work out. John's going to do 15 rounds of sparring with Barnheiser. <laughs> what is that? This is how... 15 rounds of sparring. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do 15 rounds. They're going knuckle. live at Bear Knuckle. <laughs> and, uh... A lot of people wonder how we train differently. Well, this is exactly how. John gets cut, we stitch it up, and he goes again tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tony. Tony. If James Tony's talking shit, I'm going to challenge him to a boxing match. <laughs> and I'm going to take him down. <laughs> so, yeah, you want, you want to do a boxing match? I'll do a boxing match with you. All of a sudden, he's going to get his ass taken down. done training for the day and we're gonna leave Salter in the room to watch some kind of porn. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him all over that. Look, let's go up. Uh oh, this guy's gonna get shot. Oh he's got a gun. Bonheiser is on the phone with the Chinese restaurant and he wants some dip. At uh, the hotel and we don't have any transportation right now we're here for the fights and um I was going to say, is there a gas station near you guys on the way to here? I was going to say, is there any way I could get somebody to pick me up a can of uh, chewing tobacco and I could pay them and tip them extra? It would be amazing. A can of uh, chewing tobacco, grizzly mint or skull mint. <laughs> that would be amazing, dude. I mean, it would make my night. I'll pay them extra, tip them, whatever. A can of uh, Skull Mint. Yeah, Skull Mint Long Cut. S K O A L. O A L. Mint. Mint. Like. No, M I N T. Like chewing tobacco, Skull Mint. Yeah, Long Cut. 1220. I'm in the bed with Barnheiser. What's up? And we're going to call it a night. Uh, he ordered some uh, Chinese food. I'm ready to go to bed. And uh, see you tomorrow. Peace.